Hello, boys and girls. It is so nice to see you today. Are you ready to sing and read stories with Miss Joy? You are? I'm so excited. Well, today we get to sing songs and read stories about cars. Yay! Would you like to sing my hello song with me? You would? Okay, here we go. Miss Joy and friends are here today. Miss Joy and friends are ready to play. Are you? Miss Joy and friends will read and sing and stay with you until the little bell rings. So when you hear my little bell, it will be the end of our time together. Well, today I'm super excited because my friend Gabe is here. And guess what? I've known Gabe for so many years. And guess what else? He knows how to drive. He knows how to drive a car and a motorcycle and a truck and anything else that has wheels and an engine. And I'd love to invite him over to read stories with me about cars. Come on over, Gabe. Hi, Joy. <laughs> It's so good I to see you. I love seeing you. It makes me so happy. Yay, Gabe's here. Yay. So the cool thing about Gabe is that he drives cars and he has a little boy. Why don't you tell us a little bit about you? I drive cars. I used to drive a taxi. What? Yeah, do you know the big yellow cars and they drive people wherever they want to go. What? Yeah. Have you ever been in a taxi cab before? Do you know where there's a lot of taxi cabs? In New York City. That is such a big city. If you ever go to New York, you'll probably ride in a taxi too. Well, we have a really fun song to sing too, yeah. and it's about cars. Baby, Baby you, you can, can drive, drive my car. car. Yes, yes, I'm gonna, gonna be a star. Baby, Baby you can drive my <laughs> car. And baby, I, I love you. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. yeah. That is such a fun song. What you can sing song. that with your mommy and daddy, too, if you want. Or your nanny or your grandma or whoever your grown-up is. Or maybe even your best friend. Well, I'm going to read a story about a little baby. Do you know a little baby? Maybe you used to be a little baby. It's possible. Little baby. Yes. Little baby says, little baby says, especially when they're sleepy right and this book is about a sleepy little baby who doesn't want to go to bed and it's also about cars and things that happen outside his window uh, this book is called night cars and it's by Teddy jam and the pictures are by Eric Beddoes really pretty pictures in this book I love it oh and I forgot to tell you Gabe brought this book from his house and he used to read it to his little boy he loved this story so much and we hope that you will too. Are you ready? Here we go. Night Cars. Once there was a baby. Oh, baby. Mm, sweet, with his papa. Who wouldn't go to sleep. Is it hard to go to sleep sometimes? Tired voices, walking feet, passing cats, noisy street, beep beep, vroom vroom. <laughs> There's all kinds of things happening on the street. Yeah, look at the dog. Arf, arf. Can you make a dog sound? <laughs> Night dog watches, counting all the lights. Night cars gliding out of baby's sight. Don't you love watching everything happening outside the windows from your house? I know I do. When I was a little girl, I used to do that. The bus went by my house when I was a little girl. Very loud. Someone needs a pillow. Call a taxi on the phone. Look, I used to drive a taxi. <laughs> Look at all the taxis. Someone needs a good night kisses. Someone's eyes. Finally, the baby's getting sleepy. Baby wakes his father up, wants to see the night car truck. Slow snow falling deep, cats, dogs, babies sleep. Have you ever seen snow, Joy? I have seen snow, but not very often because I'm from San Francisco and there's no snow there. Night cars humming through the snow, night cars drifting 
night cars slow. There's traffic even at nighttime, so the cars have to go slow. Night cars calling out your name. Night cars hiding in your dreams. Do you dream about cars sometimes? You do? Do you dream about cars sometimes? Oh, yeah. A lot, because you drive a lot, oh, right? <laughs> it gets in your dreams. I dream that I'm driving and driving and driving, <laughs> and I never get anywhere. Baby waking up again, snow has covered everything. White night, white dog. Snow plow making white snow logs. See, the snow plow scoops up the snow from the street so people can drive their cars on it. Right, you can't drive through big piles of snow. If you live in New York, you probably know that. But here in California, it doesn't snow we that don't much. Worry about no. that. <laughs> Night car shining in the night. Stop and bow at each red light. Do you see the red light here? What it's is, time to what, stop. Is that what the red light means? Yes, and the green light means go. Go, you can go, it's green. Engines roar, light turns green. Night car's on their way again. Vroom, beep, beep. There's lots of beeping out on the road. Fire engine scream at night. Fire siren, fire light. Fire engine, fire truck, waking everybody up. Oh my goodness. And then the dog goes, arr, arr, arr. when he hears a siren. <laughs> Do you have a dog at home? Does he bark when he hears a siren? Probably, or even howl. I thought he did. Garbage man, garbage man, careful near that dream. It could gobble up your garbage truck. Then where would you be? You'd have no garbage truck. No garbage truck? Yep. Hmm. That dream ate it up. <laughs> Night goes, morning comes, baby sings, daddy yawns. Hmm. Daddy spent a lot of the evening trying to get baby to go to oh, sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Carry those boxes, slam those doors, shout those shouts, fill those stores. So everybody's awake now, it's morning time. Yep. Yeah, the stores are open, time to go out and do something. Get dressed, get washed, find warm clothes, thick socks, big boots, kick that snow. Work all night, sleep all day, eat and drink at the Donut Cafe. Ooh, that sounds like my kind of cafe. That's a special treat. Do you like Do you like donuts, Joan? I'm not a big donut oh. fan. Mm, I know. Not everybody loves donuts, but maybe you do. Oh. Hmm? Chocolate for baby. Ooh. Coffee for dad. Yum. Even night cars go to bed. <sighs> Oh, that, oh was that was such a nice story. <laughs> what did you like about the book, Gabe? Oh, well, I just liked all the pictures were so great. Yeah, they were beautiful pictures, right? And it reminded me of when I was a baby and sometimes things would wake me up or I just didn't really want to go to sleep yet. How about you? Hmm? Well, the cool thing today is I'm not the only one reading the story. <coughs> Gabe's going to bring it up. And guess what? Look. He brought that from his house, too, and I'm excited to hear this book. Yay! It's, it's about a taxi and a dog. A taxi and a dog? Arf, arf, beep, beep. Yeah. All right, let's hear it. You want to hear it? Yeah, I okay, do. Okay, here we go. This is called The Adventures of Taxi Dog by Deborah and Sal Baraka, and pictures are by Mark Boehner. Those are super cool pictures, too. I love them. I have a feeling someone involved with this book drove a taxi. Oh, more taxis. Mm -hmm. My name is Maxie. I ride in a taxi around New York City all day. It's that dog. Mm -hmm. I sit next to Jim. I belong to him. But it wasn't always this way. Hmm. I wonder how he got to belong to Jim. Yeah, let's find out the story. Look, look, there he is. Oh, there he is. I grew up in the city, all dirty and gritty, looking for food after dark. I roamed all around, avoiding the pound, and lived on my own in the park. Oh, he lived all by himself. Oh, that's and he so, lived outside. That sounds scary. That does sound scary. One day a car stopped. Its tire had popped. 
Out stepped a tall man, I could see. He came over and said as he patted my head, Are you lost? You can come home with me. That's so nice. <gasps> Did I hear right? Oh boy! My tail wagged with joy. Does your dog wag its tail? If you have a dog? <laughs> Joy's wagging her tail. <laughs> I jumped right up on the seat. He said, my name's Jim. I could ride home with him. And he'd give me some good food to eat. Oh, he didn't have to eat all the garbage cans anymore. Nope. I love that. I ate and I ate. I cleaned the whole plate. Look, there's his clean plate. Oh, good job. Then Jim took a scarf of bright red. He tied it around me, so glad he had found me, and kissed me on top of my head. Oh, Aww. you kiss your doggy. He you loves his doggy. doggy. My wish had come true. I would start life anew. At last, I had a warm home. Oh. With someone to love me and take good care of me, no longer would I have to roam. What does it mean to roam? That means to go all over the place and not know where you're going. Oh. You don't have a place to go. I kind of like roaming sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. but not if you're a, a lonely doggy. Yeah, okay. Look, there's Jim's taxi. Oh, yeah. yeah. And all the people in his neighborhood, look, they're just hanging out. They're just doing their neighborly mm -hmm. things, aren't What's they? What's she doing with that rug? She's shaking out the rug so that all the dust comes off, uh -huh. but hopefully it won't land on that guy's head. <laughs> <laughs> Jim said, your name's Maxie. We'll ride in my taxi. We'll ride all over the town. We'll see all the sights, all the streets and the lights, and we'll go riding uptown and down. There's so much to see, every building and tree, with people and cars everywhere. All the interesting places, new friends and new faces, each time we pick up a fare. What does it mean to pick up a fare? Well, a fare is what we call a person who wants to ride somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. So each time someone new gets in the taxi. Yeah, yeah, and he gives us money at the end of the ride. Whoa, which is cool great. job. Daddy's like money. <laughs> and mommy. <laughs> One time a big lady who said she was Sadie was singing that night in a show. He broke into a song, and I sang right along. Oh, That's how dogs sing. Mm -hmm. You couldn't tell me from the pro. <laughs> there she, she's They're singing opera together. Singer. She's an opera singer. Look at all the it. jewels. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, uh-oh. Who are these people here? Oh, boy. To the hospital, quick. My wife is quite sick, cried a man as we stopped for the light. Our baby is due. And like lightning, we flew. We made it in time. What a night. Wow, she was going to have her baby. Yeah. Oh, where are they? Now, look, hmm, there's a big airplane there. Where do you there. think they are? Hmm, sometimes when it's slow, to the airport we go. The airport. We get in the line at the stand, because taxis have to line up to wait for people. Oh, sometimes they the have airport. to wait for people at the yeah, airport. Yeah, there's a long line of taxis. We get in the line at the stand, to wait for a fare and a hot dog we share. Look, he's sharing oh, he's a hot gobbling dog. up a hot dog. That is a lucky puppy. While we watch the planes take off and land. I used to wait at the airport, but I would eat Chinese food. Oh, <laughs> in your taxi? Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. that sounds messy. Yeah, well there was, a, there was a truck and you would buy Chinese food there. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, the door opened wide. Guess who jumped inside? Two clowns what? and a chimp they called Murray. Oh, 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 ah! Wait, there he is, Murray? right there. there. He is. Oh, he's wearing a little suit. <laughs> he's wearing a little outfit. <laughs> We're performing at eight, and our flight is came in late to the circus, and please try to hurry. Hurry! Was that a good clown voice? That was a pretty good Whoa, clown voice. We're late, we're late. <laughs> I know, you need a little red nose. I know. I know, or a big red nose. You'll get it if you want. We, yeah. have, we don't have time. Okay. Next time. We get such big tips. On most of our trips, Jim is surprised at this treat, but he doesn't know that I put on a show for the passengers in the back seat. Look what the dog is doing. He's being so silly, and, and Jim doesn't know. <laughs> She's like, what is going on with this dog? So funny. At the end of each day, when we've earned our pay, we drive the cab back to its spot, where our boss named Lou Look, there's Lou. Hey, Lou. Says, hi, how'd you do? Have a biscuit. He's giving me a doggy biscuit. He likes me a lot. 
dogs love biscuits. Doggy so biscuits. if you give a doggy a biscuit, they'll think that you like them. Yeah, and they'll be your friend forever. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. Dogs love Every food. Every time they see you, and they'll be happy. So what are they going to do when they're happy? How do they show their happy dogs? They're going to wag their tail. Wag their tail. <laughs> it's just like a dream. Me and Jim, we're a team. I'm always there at his side. We never stand still. Every day is a new thrill. Come join us next time for a ride. Oh, that would be fun. That's to good. ride in a taxi with the dog. Very silly a funny puppy. dog. I love that book. I, I love, love that the dog found a home and someone who loved him and would feed him and take care of him. And also that he got to go on all those adventures and meet all the people because they were riding around in a taxi and meeting new people all day long. I like that the dog and Jim were a team. They were. And they worked together and they had so much fun working together. They did. I love that too. Aww. Well, I hope you liked the books we read today about cars and taxis and trucks and babies and dogs. Yep. I know. So fun. So I hope that next time we have a show with Miss Joy and Friends that you'll come and, and, and listen to stories with me again. And it's time for our little bell. Oh, that means goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. 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 Goodbye, friends.